which looks at issues important to young people in contemporary South Africa, such as health care, education, unemployment and service delivery. That's Durban University of Technology's Drama and Production Studies Department's new production titled Our Story. Now, Our Story is a series of original, funky, poignant and funny uh, vignettes, which comes both to the Courtyard Theatre on the 9th and 10th of September and to City Campus on the 11th uh, and 12th of September for daytime shows as part of the digital festival. It is conceptualized, created and directed by Nelly Ngono, who joins us now from our Durban studios to tell us more about the production. Nelly, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Morning, Lebo. Nice to be here. Let's talk about our story. What is it about and what inspired it? Well, it started as me looking at myself and thinking, who am I as a young black South African? And what are the issues that really, really um, concern me? So as an academic and as a lecturer, it was only natural that I began to think, um, how do my students cope with all the issues that we have as South Africans? So that's how it began. And we started to talk and workshop and really get our ideas going. Speak to us about your cast and why they were the best people to tell your story. Well, my cast is absolutely incredible. They are the most talented young bunch you've ever seen. They are energetic, enthusiastic. They always have the most amazing ideas. And they inspire me every day because they always say things or do things that I didn't even think about. And it's just up to me to focus them and direct them and get them moving into the right direction. And what is the significance of the title, Our Story? Well, I just feel like, um, especially in academia, we are always reading plays from Europe or America, but we have our own stories that are so valuable, that are so rich, but not just apartheid stories, but stories about now, contemporary stories. I'm not saying that um, history is not important, it's very important, but we also have to move forward as a country and we have to move forward as artists. And also art is about mirroring society and what's happening right now today. So that is why it's just so important to me that the students do work that is contemporary and that we get new writers coming out. Because, you know, we talk about um, transforming the curriculum, but we need new writers to be able to actually study new works. So that is one of my um, sort of efforts to try add to transforming the curriculum as well. Talk to us about the decision to package it into a series of vignettes, you know, when you could have been just one long production, but it's a series. Why that? Well, it's a lot of fun because each series can um, unpack a certain issue, close it, and then you move on to another one. And it also makes it very fast, quick, and it also challenges the actors to transform from one character, put on just a jacket, and all of a sudden you're another character. So it's very exciting to watch. It's nice for the audience to see the actors transform, and it's nice to not be bored and know that an issue has been dealt with, and now we're moving on to something completely different. All right. What do you want your audience to take away from our story? Well, I want them to realize that as South Africans, we have a rich history, but we also have the potential for a bright and beautiful future, and that our stories are important. There are stories everywhere, all around us. I mean, I took inspiration from, for example, the reporter who was mugged um, while on site trying to report a story. That is very significant, but it just doesn't happen to reporters. It happens to everybody. So we have stories everywhere, and we can make use of them. We just need to get people writing, we need to get people performing, and we just need to get our stories out there, and that's it. This is South Africa. This is our story. Are we going to let things stay the way they are, or are we going to make a difference? What has been the highlight of putting this production together? Um, I would say probably the exhibition. There's an exhibition part of it because I feel like drama students, people always think we just play. They just sit there, they play, they don't actually study. But drama students are critical thinkers. They're there early in the morning till late in the evening. So I wanted people to see what process drama students actually go through. So we had a photographer called Sabelo Mgoma who came in and he shot the students in rehearsal so that you can see that at the end, what the product is compared to at the beginning, how we started. So that's my favorite part. It's definitely going to be the exhibition. All right, Nelly, before I let you go, give us ticket prices, venue, all those details. Okay, so we'll be um, from the 9th to the 10th at the Courtyard Theatre. This is in Durban, Steve Bigoro, Gate 7. 
and um, the prices are 40 rand and 20 rand for students. Um, we'll also be at the DigiFest with other drama um, shows. They're going to be singers and dancers and slam poetry as well at the DigiFest from the 11th to the 12th. Um, because of parking, please make sure that you go to Ritson campus and take a, an hourly shuttle all the way to city campus. All right, Nelly, good Thank luck you. for the production. Thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, Nelly Ngongo is Durban University of Technology's Drama and Production uh, Studies Department. Uh, she's a lecturer there, and she was talking to us about her production, Our Story On at the Courtyard Theatre. Well, let's say a very good morning to Africa.